What is up, my dudes? It is Bolo from TSMR6, and this is my guide to Zofia. Four for Bolo. Will he get the ace? Turn in the corner. Give it to Bolo! Let's go! Put it in the montage. TSM up 2-0. With his teammate, Martin. Oh, Bolo. Bolo. Bolo definitely going to make an effort of it, if nothing else. Oh, my God. Already got two. Vertical at low health as well. Bolo can clutch this. Oh, 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 oh. Bolo gets the ace. Beautiful no gunplay. So the main role of any Zofia is basically to remove any utility, whether it's Evil Eyes, Maestro's Evil Eyes, uh, Goyo's Vulcan Shields, and regular deployable shields. And every now and then the stuns do come into effect with whether it be side executions, like getting a bandit off of breaking a wall so your Thermite or a Habana can get it open, just to basically do as much fragging as you can. A lot of the time, people would like to take a Sophia over an Ash just simply over the concussion effect. Sometimes people just, you know, do it because he has an ACOG and Ash doesn't. But other than that, really the concussions definitely come into play. Again, bandit tricking, even for late round executes on site. Kind of hard to do some shooting when, you know, you can't hear, can't move, can't see really. So. Sophia definitely comes into play last second executions. To be honest, I think Sophia is good on every single map there is. If you look at Pro League, every lineup basically has a Sophia. What makes her so good is just, again, really good gun. She's a two armor, two speed, so she can move, but she can still kind of tank. And her impacts with the whole meta, where it's literally just a utility simulator, where you just remove everything, like Evil Eyes, Goyos, Shield. Sophia overall is just a ridiculous ridiculously strong operator. Zofia, again, can fit into any lineup, usually a hard preacher, a flank watch, whether it's Nomad or Gridlock, smokes are pretty good. Somebody to burn ADSs, like an Ash, along with a Buck with his flashes now, just so Zofia can get to destroying the utility where it doesn't get, you know, her impact ADS. Again, literally like every lineup I can think of, there's always gonna be like a Zofia in there somewhere. I play Zofia just because, you know, aggressive role. The mixture of speed with armor and like, like you can kind of tank some bullets and her ridiculously good gun is just a perfect match for my aggressive play style. It's a rough spot to be in. Bolo removes Bosco's head from his body. Something not a lot of time. To take the gunfights, Bolo quite happy to take that one. Because the answer is no one's there right now, but they will lay down, stands up, and Bolo is there waiting in a great round for TSM to bring that one back from the jaws of defeat. Along with 95% of the Zofia players, they always pick the AK or the M762 over the LMG just because LMGs are nice and all, but every now and then you just need to get in the action. And along with it, I run angled grip. I think I'm in the min minority on this one. Gets me an extra half a second of ADS, which I find pretty nice. The recoil is not too bad because I have muzzle brake, especially on Zofia and, you know, ACOG. Always got to run the ACOG if you if you have the chance. And along with it, I mean, Zofia also has, you know, the only pistol with a red dot. And uh, for utility or gadgets, recharges for me, like at all times, just in case, again, if the sledge or the buck dies, I'm always like that second option. So we're not completely lost on the vertical play. Flamers are always good in case, you know, you're a little bit lacking on the flank watch, but for me, it's breach charges all the way. In the drone phase, as a Sophia, you mainly want to look out for where the utility is. Deployable shields, Goyo shields, Maestro Evil Eyes, stuff like that. Every now and then you will be needed to roam clear with your stuns because it's a good, you know, good way to roam clear. And sometimes, again, a uh, bandit trick in a wall, you might need to be called over and stun them so your heart breacher can get the wall open. But mainly just, again, wherever you need to blow stuff up. Usually beginning of the rounds as a Sophia made myself, I would kind of help clear the utility, do the entering part, and then I would find my way ending up towards or hard breacher to watch over the planet. Usually whenever you're trying to entry, you would want at least somebody with you along with a drone. So you're, you're always in a position to be traded out, but sometimes you do need to help the hard breacher, say get a plant down or watch over him while he plants a wall or does some droning. It's all dependent on where the round really plays out and where you end up along with your other teammates. 
The only operators that can really counter Zofia are Jaeger and Wamai. The only really like projectile deniers. Other than that, I guess just Maestro and Goyo and any other shield that would waste utility. Maybe uh, stunning, using your stuns to burn ADS, which is a, kind of a popular tactic if you're, you know, kind of in a pinch. Other than that, it's just Jaeger and Wamai, the only things that can catch projectiles midair. The majority of the time when I'm on Zofia, I'm usually entering, so my mouse is pretty important to me. So my, my Logitech Pro Wireless, I can go all over my mouse pad as much as I want. I can flick, you know, check corners and run in and get, get those sick flicks going with ease. Oh, good angle on the bullet holes from Bolo and Slash goes down. And then Bolo up for the stairs! Oh, and it catches his head and Bolo will find his very first Pro League kill. Properly using your Zofia like impact or like her lifeline is pretty influential because you you have a limited amount You know two impacts two stuns and if you're not smart with it Every single one of those can be snagged by Jaeger or Omai and then you're basically just a like gun Usually throughout the round I'll try to have one stun for a side execute just because whenever the planter is going for the plant That one stun could definitely change the round sometimes it could prevent you know somebody from running up to a spot to nitro the planter are uh, just running up and going to shoot him while he's planting. It just, it definitely can make or break a sight round or a sight execute and get the bomb down and which eventually would possibly win the round. For the most part, I mean, stuns can be used as, I guess, a second drone, more or less, because if you have some idea of where somebody is, you can shoot the stun in their direction, and if it pops immediately, then there you go, you know that there's someone in there. If not, you know that room's clear and you can move up. Sometimes there's going to be a uh, evil eye close to a shield, so you might be able to get a two-for-one with your impact. It's just really uh, surveying your environment and seeing how efficient you can use your utility. So unlike Ash, Zofia's lifeline has a a drop so you need to take that in consideration on how far away you are from some utility you need to get rid of so like that it's gonna fall short of the window but for Zofia you're gonna need to aim up a little bit not it's not it's not crazy drop it's just a little bit just to make it through some distances Whenever I run Zofia, I usually have breach charges. I don't, I very rarely have a claymore just because in case our sledge or our buck dies, we're not completely lost on like how to blow up a floor. So I can keep my impacts for, you know, Boyos and uh, Evil Eyes and I have breaches for the floor to work uh, vertical angles. So if there's ever like a Jaeger, like there's three ADSs and one Mai's all over the place, the only way around it really is just to either have like a Thatcher around to EMP it, which destroys ADSs and disables one Mai's. So you have to kind of time it with the Thatcher. He's on the bathroom wall right now. Yeah, you should that, that, yeah. Bro, Thatcher that Evo. Okay, all right, hold up. Thatcher, hey, you get ready. Uh, what was he? Oh, in the bathroom wall. Well, other than that, Communicating with your team is very helpful, especially when you're Sophia. Say when you're going to execute on site, but you're not going to plant and you're going to push through. Whenever we, I push with my team, we always count down. So like three, two, one, go. And on that one, I'll send the stun so everybody knows like you have a, you have a limited amount of time. So you want to make the most out of it. Once again, an opportunity for TSM to just hit the site, and they are doing oh, it. Wow. They're doing exactly that. Archive crazy. control for TSM, two people to cover, and in a post plant, Tempo Storm will have to retake their own bomb site. The goal for every round is basically get the bomb down and play the post plant. Whenever the bomb is down and it's a post plant situation, just play your life. You don't go for the frags. You don't need to go for the frags. You just you just play your life, kill as much time as you can, bait your team if you need to. You just need to burn down the clock. A little thing that a lot of people don't know is when it, when there's a diffuser down, you can interrupt the dis, like the diffuse with your stuns. You can just wait. Send one stun in, like at like a five second into the diffuse. Send another one in. You can basically stop like an efficient amount of like 12 seconds, at least. I don't usually have any utilities saved up for post plane. If I do, great, because again, if I have a stun, I can, I know I can get somebody off of a diffuser. Oh, I'm a stun. Stunning. So you could always throw a drone in. Yo, watch this drone. I'm playing my life. Let me know when they're sticking it. Like they're sticking the diffuser, count it down. Let me know when I need to peek. Other than that, I'm just sitting in a corner, playing the time, playing the clock, trying to win the round. 
I hope you guys enjoyed my personal Bolo Zofia guide. So if you guys want to see anything more, any more uh, operator guides, put it down in the comment below. I hope you guys like and subscribe. Yeah, thank you for watching. Appreciate it.